your boy, Ben Tuan. Welcome to Ben Tuan's Block. Today, we got some really good reads for you. We're going to be getting into DeFi Acropolis and the latest hack that happened to them just a few weeks ago. Um, really sad to hear this because, full disclosure, I am an active participant inside of the Acropolis community uh, with their staking and rewards mechanism. Uh, so really saddened to hear this. Uh, I actually was able to speak with Anna a couple months ago. Um, and, and this is happening in DeFi. We're seeing it left and right happen with Harvest. Uh, it happened with a few other projects. And it's it's really one of those things where it, it's not really the, the project's fault. It's, it's how the ecosystem has been set up and the other vulnerabilities that have allowed the exploits within some of these projects. So we're going to get into this today. DeFi Acropolis drops 20% following a USD $2 million heavy hack. Real quick, if you're not like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Ben Tuan's block, also Ben Tuan 27 on Twitter. I'm on Rarible. Check out some of my art pieces at Ben Tuan. We appreciate you guys joining me today. So decentralized finance DeFi platform Acropolis is seeing its native token coin Acro drop nearly 20% in a day so far following a hack that made the attacker some 2 million USD. I, just absolutely crazy to see these kind of things happen. Uh, it's really interesting though to understand the inner workings behind all this because we're going to get into that a little bit later, but you'll see what kind of damage this actually does to these projects. It dropped 19.88% in a single day, trimming its weekly gains to 11%. Meanwhile, the price fell 40% in a month. For those of you who, who have been tracking Acropolis, um, Acro, Adele, with their latest staking and pool mechanisms, it has absolutely dumped since the highs of August, September. Uh, we were in a very euphoric stage. I think everyone was. Acropolis, to me, is still a very promising project, and I think it is tried and true. They have done things very transparently, and I think their team is going to work through this just like they have with everything else during the course of their project with other setbacks. So I believe in Acropolis. I'm not trying to shill you their project. This is just my beliefs and opinions uh, because I've been able to speak with a couple of them. I've been able to speak with other members inside the DeFi space who believe in this project. Um, as you can see here on the chart, I mean, we were up close to four cents per acro and these things started out you know below a cent and now it's still kind of you can see it's hovering right around a cent here today in november um i hope we're going to start to see some traction with this project again once bitcoin gets done doing its thing so that alt season may happen and who knows where acropolis will, will head but a lot of these coins that have these billion supply uh, for the market, it, it tends to kind of hover, you know, less than a dollar um, is typically the rule of thumb. You look at the XRPs, you look at Tron, a lot of these other projects have a similar supply. It's typically going to hover, you know, less than less than a dollar. But I wouldn't be surprised if we can reach four cents again with the way that Acropolis has been rolling out their coin supply. Uh, we'll see what happens if they can recover from this, but just interesting news in the markets right now. In the November 12th official announcement, the Acropolis team said that they had first noticed a discrepancy in the annual percentage yields of their stablecoin pools at 1400 UTC, which resulted in the finding that some 2 million DAI had been drained out of the Y curve in SUSD pools. Other pools named the announcement have not been affected, thankfully. So it's luckily just one of these pools that got exploited. The rest of them seem to be safe for now. Uh, what the Acropolis team said is we are exploring ways to reimburse users for the loss in a way that is sustainable for the project and we'll make a proposal to the community prior to any final decision being made. Once again, top notch here. They're, they're just super transparent. I think they're fair. They're, they have good intentions and motives behind this project. They want to bring decentralized finance to the masses in a fair and equal way. Um, and, and if you're involved with this community, you know. You know how they are. Uh, they are posting up. They have the roadmap clearly defined. You know what they're working on. You, you know what their intentions are. And I think they do have your best interest in mind um, if you are involved with this community. So even though the pools have been audited already and by two independent firms, said the team, there were still unidentified attack vectors left for the attacker to exploit. Acropolis founder and CEO Ana Andrianova tweeted that two attack vectors had 
unfortunately been missed despite two audits. So, and that was one of the things I loved about this project is that they audited two separate companies before they even launched uh, their project like earlier this year with the Adele tokens and everything like that. So they had everything audited. This just happened to be an exploit that was missed and, and call it human error, call it whatever you want. Um, I, I think shit just happens like this. And unfortunately they were exposed. The attack itself was executed via a combination of reentrancy attack with DYDX flash loan origination. One of the most well-known reentrancy attacks was the DAO hack in 2016, which drained it of some 3.6 million ETH at a time value of about $50 million. These two types of attacks are not new and they're devastating for two reasons. They can completely drain your smart contract of its ether and they can sneak their way into your code if you're not careful. So all stablecoin pools are paused, said Acropolis, and exchanges informed about the issue while the team has begun their work with the security specialist on reviewing the code and security procedures. This is far from the first attack seen in the past few months alone, and the earlier ones often involved flash loan attacks. DeFi liquidity providing platform balancer was hacked at the end of June, which involved taking a flash loan in Ethereum from the non-custodial exchange DYDX. So for those of you who I, you know, I had to actually look into flash loans to really, really understand like what was going on with that. So I am making a different video. If you want to learn more about flash loans, this is just some news that I thought was interesting with Acropolis uh, because it is a project that I follow pretty closely um, and, and that I like personally. So I just like presenting some of the latest news, even though this was not the best news for the project. Like you said, I believe in it and I believe that they will be able to work through this just like ETH. Did. If you think about how they got hacked with the with the Dow back in 2016, like the article was saying, Eve was able to survive this by hard forking their protocol. Maybe it wasn't the best solution, but they did fix it. And ultimately, ETH has still thrived to this day. I think the same thing will happen with Acropolis. They will find a solution to be able to survive this. And that is just my belief because I believe in the project and I believe in the, in the people behind it. But if you want, please check out my what are flash loans video so that you know more about how this happened in the inner workings behind a flash loan hack and attack so that you get educated about this stuff. It's very important to know because if you are investing in these projects, these are some of the vulnerabilities along with smart contract bugs. If you're investing in DeFi, these are the things that you need to be aware of and the risk that you need to be aware of. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. As always, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. This is Ben Twan's block. I appreciate you joining me. Until next time, deuces.